obviously there's some guys hurt. So uh, the results thing, scoring points, hopefully get a low number and maybe make the playoffs at the end of the year is really the end goal. I mean, it's a good opportunity to hopefully maybe get a fill in somewhere, which would be awesome for me and uh, get out of this thing, out of the van. Yeah, definitely the, the Yamaha is great, man. I've, I've been on the same exact setup for about four years now and uh, definitely just felt like I needed to switch to like freshen it up and sometimes that alone just, I mean, it could not even be better, just about the same, but you just feel better because it's fresh. But definitely, I mean, the Yamaha's great. Working with Enzo has been awesome so far, and it's just it's been a positive switch. Uh, it was a little stressful. Um, thankful to Vital MX's own uh, Michael Lindsay. He helped me out a lot. So uh, without him, it would have been way more stressful. But um, so far, it's been a pretty easy transition. It was just a little stressful the first like couple days getting parts and, and stuff like that. Like every time I've rode the bike, it's had new stuff on it. But it's been solid switch. I was P9 overall at round one. So got a solid top 10 gate pick and hopefully it's gonna be a solid day. No, I don't really get excited. I've always been pretty good at qualifying. Uh, like last year I had some, a top 10 at Redbud or some like pretty solid top 15s when the field was a little deeper. So qualifying has never really been an issue. But I was a little surprised at seventh, just because I didn't really feel that fast. I was just kind of out there, like riding and getting a feel for it. But yeah, I think throughout the year, uh, like definitely like Red Bud is usually I'm pretty solid there. I think I could be pretty close to like a five to ten range pretty much every week. For me personally, like I've always liked doing my own thing, and when I get so busy like doing everything myself, honestly, like. I think I ride better just because I'm so busy like mentally or physically and it's it's almost easier to just get through the race day like almost not even think about it and like I've had some of my best races where I'm just so busy I can't even like think and it's been with some of my best rides so uh, that's one positive that I like about it obviously the negative is when it's hot being out of a van it's pretty hard to cool down that's really the only negative for me with it uh, I just done my best to like not get ahead of myself and like just because like literally today's my fourth day on this bike so it's I like, pretty I don't really have expectations I'm just going there to get the laps in and get some motos I haven't even done a 30 on this bike yet so um, today is just kind of getting through the day and getting a real feel for it but I think by the time East Coast rolls around I'll be really really solid on this bike uh, definitely long term is to hopefully get top 20 overall combined points and just get straight in and you know, really dial everything in throughout the year and crush it the last three is my long-term goal. Um, Short-term is just be solid every lap and every moto and just grind it out. I mean, that's really all I can do is take it week by week and see how it goes.
The rest of my body is pretty fine. My shoulder, this shoulder hurts a little bit, but once we get more time in these things, I think it'll be solid. I think when we go east, though, that bike's gonna be so much better. Just cause it is stiff. Yeah. Like for here, like the hard pack yeah. shit. Not bad though. I mean, decent opener. So uh, switching bikes has been great. I mean, the Yamaha's so fast, and I mean, my starts are great all day, which is pretty unlike me. Usually I start like 30th, so uh, that that was nice to kind of chill out the first couple laps and for most of the race, like I was kind of just chilling. Harlan came up on me at the end pretty good. Uh, ended up uh, eighth that moto which was awesome. I mean, it's my first top 10, so I was stoked on that. And then second moto, started sixth, uh, ran top 10 for a while, and just my hands, man, I haven't, haven't been able to do 30s yet, like switching, switching so much stuff. So uh, kind of faded at the end, my hands were like raw. So I was a little sketch out to push it on that track, but got to the day, uh, ended up 11th overall, so I was stoked on that. And uh, Hangtown, I think, should be better for me. Uh, I generally like Hangtown a little bit more, but the bike switch has been awesome. So I, I love it, and the guys at Yamaha have been really cool with it, and uh, helped me out with some parts and stuff like that. So it's been really good. Going into Hangtown, i um, actually finally gonna be able to break in my practice bike. Uh, finally, my suspension got done yesterday, so breaking the practice bike and I'm actually going to race my practice bike at Hangtown because they'll be the bikes are identical and so I'll prep the race bike get it all good to go and then send it off to Thunder Valley so I don't have to do any bike work at Thunder Valley so just chill out and get to the race so but uh Hangtown prep I'll probably ride Tuesday do some more 30s and break these hands in a little bit better and uh, hopefully my hands don't let me down at Hangtown <laughs>